Hello everyone, my name is Science Tom, and I'm back uh, with more Minecraft. Now this isn't a um, continuation of my Minecraft uh, Let's Play in survival mode. This is in fact the new Spotlight, um, which was released, uh, let me see, it's probably going to mess up the recording, hopefully not, but um, yep, it was actually released today, which is the 24th of May. Um, and I'm just going to read this directly from the uh, forum page on Mojam, uh, Mojang. Um, it says, time for a new snapshot. One big difference this time is that you don't need the server jar to play single player. So they've actually got a single player client this time around. Um, and a few of the uh, updates they've got in this particular... Um, snapshot. I'm guessing this is going to be uh, 1.3 just from the stuff that they're adding in because normally the main updates are all for new content and like you know I know we're on Minecraft 1.2.5 the extra 0.5 is normally for the little fixes bug fixes and you know little minor changes and minor tweaks um, so I think this is going to be 1.3 when it comes out. Um, so this list includes villagers will trade items they're <laughs> and I'm quoting here, they are cheap bastards though. Apparently. We're gonna have a look, see if we can find any of that in this in this run. Added a new added a currency item. Um don't know what that is yet. I haven't actually seen any videos on this at all. Uh, apart from the Fire UK one, but they didn't really go into detail about this. Uh there's a few minor terrain changes. Uh, a new useful block item which is called the Ender Chest which is pretty cool. Um, I'll see if I can find it and uh, see if I can show you how it works. Added a seed command for showing the map seed and added stone st st sandstone stairs and then there's a lot smaller changes and fixes. Um, so if you want to have a go on this map snapshot I'll post a link in the description and for you guys to find this and um, you know and uh, enjoy it. So Right, back on into Minecraft. Going to single player. I've still got all my new worlds, um, but we're going to create a new one. And of course, there's still survival, hardcore, and creative. So we're going to make a. Uh, let's let's uh, change this. Snapshot world one. There we go. We're going to put on creative because um, it's just easier to show the things that way. But I've had a little look already. I haven't pl I haven't actually created a new world yet for this. I'm going to go into options and you'll see instead of two, which is your generate structures and world type, we've now got two more. We've got allowed cheats, which allows you to use multiplayer commands in single player by the looks of things. Um, and also bonus chests. Bonus chest. So I am not quite sure what the bonus chest is, so I'm going to turn it on see if we can figure that out. Um, also, we obviously there's no changes to on and off. You can't have, you can't have a, a maybe option or surprise me. That'd be kind of weird. Um, but world type, there is a new one. Of course, there's default, super flat, and now we've got large biomes as well. So um, some of the biomes are large anyway, but we shall see. I'm going to keep it on default. Actually no, let's let's go for large biomes. Let's see if we can see how big these biomes actually are on this particular world type. Uh, we're going to leave the seed blank. Don't need that. Cheats on. Bonus chest on. Let's do it. Let's go. Create new world. It's worse than that. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we can't automatically download the server for this snapshot. Go download the server and extract it to the app. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Are they actually adding the server software into the main uh, Minecraft client? That would be um, interesting. No thanks. Uh, so what? Oh, I have to download it. So I have to download both, um, apparently. Uh, let's just try that again. Okay, so I have to 
Oh, so you have to put the server into the thing. Okay, I shall be right back, guys, when I've sorted this out and got it working. Um, and we'll see what we can find. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've literally all we have to do um, when you get this error message is you um, go download the server client um, for the snapshot and create a new folder. If you don't know how to get there, you put um, percentage sign app data, all one word, uh, another percentage sign. I should take you to your roaming folder and in there you um, click on your .minecraft file and when you're in that where it says bin, save, stats, that kind of th thing you make a new folder and call it server um, you basically have to create that file name that you see there the center of the screen uh, as you can see mine is uh, C, C, this is C drive obviously users, science tom, app data, roaming .minecraft server and you just put the server client into that server folder and of course when you're done hit OK and try again and here we go okay it's loaded up my actual <laughs> my single player world so um, single player let's let's create a new world real quick let's turn all this stuff on done create new world It's not saying generating blocks or anything. Oh my! Oh my frame rate! My frame rate! It's gone. Right. <laughs> Let's us. Uh, oh, oh! They've changed the layout of it. Okay. Okay. Control language. Chat settings. What's chat settings? Chat shown. Commands only. Hidden. Oh. Oh, so you can turn web links on and off. Opacity. Colors. And prompt on links. Ah. Of course, I don't know what any of this stuff does just yet, so um, we'll have to see. Um, graphics fast, off, advanced OpenGL, service, server textures. Off. I'm just going to turn that off for now. I know. Uh, max FPS. Oh, let's put that one up. Why not? Yeah. Okay, so first off, I have spotted something new already. Um, and that is these things. These little um, things hanging off these jungle trees. I'm not sure if... I think these are only in the jungle. But uh, first we shall show you that uh, single player commands do work. Um, server commands, rather. Um, do work. <laughs> in single player now there we go and these these are your cocoa bean pods These, obviously the smaller ones are going to drop less than the bigger ones um, so you can now get cocoa beans wild from uh, jungle trees apparently uh, let's go back to game Oh, and if you press uh, if you press the arrow keys when you're type when you're typing, you can scroll through past history, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, let's uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we could. So look, there's uh, there's more cocoa beans, cocoa bean pods. Uh, let's let's get rid of them. Right, so. Um, Let's let's just see how big a biome this is. Um, apparently, very. This is all. This is all jungle. Uh, and oh, I think this is the edge of the jungle. So okay, we're getting into forest area. Let's jump down. I think this is forest. Yeah, this, this is a forest area now. It's kind of cool. Um, obviously some of the bug fixes do not include my weird textures. <laughs> I say weird textures, I mean like, you know, the weird pixelation that I have around blocks and stuff. Um, there's uh, also a new addition which I saw in the Fire UK video which is uh, 
what have been called uh, desert temples. Um, sorry for any lack of uh, frame rate at the minute. Uh, my world is trying to render as fast as I'm flying. It seems that you actually fly a little bit faster now. I don't know if, if that's just me or you know just my computer being really really struggling with rendering and flying. Uh, let's let it render a little bit. But as you can see, this jungle biome is absolutely freaking huge. Um, so uh, this could this could be in quite interesting if you decide to go for the large biomes um, option. So uh, okay, time to so show some of the new blocks on top of this tree. So first off, um, there's now two types of diamond ore. Uh, one is supposedly is supposed to be called emerald. Um, I know this these blocks do not look like emeralds. They because I know emeralds are supposedly green. But if I go and find the actual diamond, there you go, there's the diamond. If I go further down, is it at the bottom? Oh no, there it is. There it is, there's the emerald. Just throw it on the ground a second. There you go, there's your emerald, which you get out of these blocks. And sorry if you hear that, that's my Facebook. Someone is apparently messaging me on Facebook. So yeah, um, now, new emerald blocks. So I'm guessing you can make like emerald tools. Um, maybe not in this particular snapshot, but um, oh, there's book and quill. Okay, I didn't didn't know that. Okay, let's see what this book and quill is. Oh, oh, nice. You can actually write. Oh, you can write books. Oh, that is neat. I reckon that's going to be used more in like um, in like quests, um, not quests. Um, you can use this in uh, adventure maps instead of having to write signs or you know mod maps um, to um, you know leave notes for people you write a you write books and leave the books for people to find and then read to pass on the story that is going to be so you can put hey my name if i can even type name is tom sign enter a book title <laughs> my name <laughs> and then you can read it oh look that is amazing and once it's done it's done. There you go. You, the only way to get rid of it is to destroy it. Okay, that that I think that's going to be used very much in uh, adventure maps in the future. That's going to be pretty neat. Uh, so whatever. Oh, so we've got chiseled stone blocks, stone bricks. Um, and obviously they're just a different pattern of stone brick, which you need to chisel. So does that mean that there's chisels? Let's have a look in the tool section. Any chisels? Well, there's still shears. They're still there. Um, maybe that's going to be a later addition into the game. Um, I don't know. There's still the maps, obviously. Nether wart. Um, still bricks are still there. All your armor and chain armor which still requires fire I should think <laughs> you gotta make chain armor with fire cause you know that makes complete sense um, it looks like there are no chisels just yet in the game now if I'm on the, while I'm on this particular screen you'll notice that there's a new new item next to the chest it's called an ender chest here it is there is the ender chest. Now, if I put my particles up, hang on, uh, no, not controls. Wait, what? Slash. Oh, oh, command buttons. All right, okay. So obviously you got all your normal commands and stuff. So yeah, video settings. Let's put on all. You can see the ender chest. There it is. Now, let's let's put some crap into this. Ender chest, shall we? So let's just get a whole lot of stuff. 
let's get some wood, a pumpkin, maybe a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe a lot of obsidian. Let's get a lot of obsidian. Um, and I don't know, let's get a uh, stash of emeralds, shall we? We I mean, you know, we don't want to lose our emeralds anywhere, so uh, let's, let's put all this stuff nice and safely into our chest on top of the tree. Now, imagine you're in a situation you think, oh, I wish I, you know, you've been mining, and you think that um, you could really do with a new pickaxe, and you remember that you've made loads of pickaxes of all at home, but you can't be bothered to um, walk all the way back home. You know, you have to go through all the epic mine that you've partly forgotten how to get out of. Um, you know, you've got to go through all this mine, all this cave system. Maybe you've come, you've been through several abandoned mines, and you've now run out of pickaxes. What do you do? Well, you plonk down an ender chest. Simple. There's all your stuff from the from home that you left nice and safely in this chest, all ready for you to, you know, use as and when you feel like it. Uh, I'm wondering if these double. Nope, they don't double yet. Who knows? That could be a later addition. Now here's something I want to test, because this would be even more useful if it worked ooh, in the nether. So let's quickly build ourselves a quick nether portal. Three, four, oh come on, drop down, drop down, there we go. And into the nether we go. Now, if this works in the, if these chests work between dimensions, you can imagine how useful this is. This is going to be. So uh, let's go a little way. Um, yeah, this this looks like a good place. Let's plonk a chest down here. Oh, it even lights up the area. Oh wow, that's that's pretty neat. So uh, show, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it even works in the nether. Oh my god, that is going to be so damn useful. It is unreal. Uh, and, you know, nothing falls out of this chest either. So if you accidentally destroy one, like I just did, you know, like kind of like that. Um, wow, that that is going to be amazingly useful. Because it means you can run into the nether with like your, some spare crappy swords. Um, you know, a couple of you know, a couple of decent uh, pickaxes to go glowstone hunting. You can just put your all your glowstone in ender chests, um, and you know you can then go back home. You can die. You end up spawning back home. All your glowstone is nice and safe in the ender chest. You don't have to worry about having to transport it back. You can go and you know put all your stuff into this chest. Jump into a pool of lava. Get home. If you really want to do it, it's like a quick way home, you can't be bothered to find a never portal. But there's one downside to these um to these chests, and that is that they're incredibly expensive to make. Um let's um, in fact I'll show you now. So here's the end product. I'll put it over there. So you will need obsidian. Um so let's get a bunch of obsidian. And you also need obviously your crafting bench, crafting table. And you also need your Eye of Ender. So let's put this crafting table down. Go in here. And you want your Eye of Ender in the center. And obsidian all the way around. And that makes you an Ender chest. And there you go. So you need eight obsidian for every chest. And you need an Ender Eye for every chest. Personally, I don't know how you make it ender eyes or how you get them but um, that is what you need so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video um, oh before I go um, I know loads of people will be excited to see this ah! sandstone steps which I'm just gonna fly straight up so you can so I can show you this as well uh, you can put upside down as well just saying. Can't let me drop. God damn it, there we go. So, um, yeah. 
that's that's all the new stuff that I've I've seen. I don't know if that I didn't see the new currency. Uh, it's glowstone. Because there there is supposedly a currency item, but what that is, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's great eye. Um, what it is right now, I don't know because I haven't seen anything else that's new. Um in this list unless it is something that you cannot spawn in the creative mode because I know there are certain things like that um, but we shall have to wait and see so um, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it doesn't turn out too long um, sorry about the whole um, having to uh, cut the recording off while I find out how to get this thing to work I wasn't quite expecting it because it does say you don't need the server jar to play single player when evidently you do need it. So I um, hope you guys all enjoyed that, uh, enjoyed this series. Um, it looks like they're finally getting the server software built into Minecraft which hopefully will mean easier server for everyone. Um, no need to port forward or anything of any of that stuff. But we shall soon we shall find out when this update comes. This is obviously just uh, a snapshot of what's to come. Hopefully, 1.3 is going to be the um, adventure release. It's going to be the Ma Minecraft Adventure Pack version two. So um, I'm excited. This end of end of the chest stuff is is going to be really really useful. Um, it's going to be really, really good to see how um, how that works out, especially for survival maps. Uh, the large biomes, uh, I think I'll leave out <laughs> my list of, oh my god, that's awesome things. Um, unless you just want to live in a massive jungle. That's up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I shall see you guys next time. See you all later.